The packed driving assistant software version 7.5.1 comes with the ability to perform full emergency stops even when using a wheel as a controller. In earlier software versions, the automatic emergency braking system could only be used when using mouse or keyboard as a controller. In version 7.5.1, the car always monitors the traffic situation in front of the vehicle. If there is a detected imminent collision, the car will react with a two-step warning. First the car will display a red visual warning to prompt you to react immediately. If set, the car will precondition the brakes for a full emergency stop by already applying about 10% of the braking force. The throttle will be limited so that you cannot accelerate into the back of another car. The second step is the acute warning. If the driver didn't react to the visual warning, an audible warning tone will sound within a split second. At the same time, the full braking force is applied. During the braking, the car constantly calculates how much braking pressure is necessary to avoid a collision. Within the limits of the system, the car is able to prevent or mitigate impacts with cars traveling in the same direction in the area in front of the vehicle. To alert following traffic, adaptive brake lights will flash while braking and the hazard warning lights will be activated. As soon as the driver accelerates again, all warnings will be disabled. The warning distance can be set to short, medium and far in the driver assistance menu. In order for the system to be able to break, the system uses the VJOY extension. All necessary files for installing can be found in the packed folder. To be safe, keep your assigned buttons in Live for Speed in mind, or write them down as they sometimes get unassigned while installing VJOY. All other settings stay the same though. In addition to that, you need to assign the axes you are using as well as the first axis of the VJOY device in the set.txt file. These can be found under Options controller axes this is needed as the number of available axes depends on the controller device you are using please keep in mind that you have to change the path to the vjoy interface dll directory if you've chosen a custom location if you still have any questions you can always hit me up on discord